Hey guys, how's it going? Tears back again with episode number 18 of the My Player series here on Xbox One. And as you can see, we've done superbly well in the previous bunch of four fixtures. As you can see, 8.1 average rating. Really, really great form we've been in recently. Six goals compared to the one that they wanted for us and a, uh, a goal conversion rate of 37% really really pleased with how things have been going lately we've got a game against Crawley coming up today and then as you can see a, a game against Doncaster in the cup as well however the uh, the batch of four doesn't include that because it's of course a cup game it only goes by a uh, league game so Crawley home Stevenage away Bradford City at home and MK Dons away MK Dons away is going to be a very very tough game but considering we did so well in the previous uh, previous batch of four, they want a minimum rating of 8.7, which is going to be particularly difficult to uh, to get, considering we got like two 9.7 slash 9.8s and still only managed a, a rating of 8 overall out of the previous four. But uh, they only want one goal from us again, definitely achievable. One assist, definitely achievable. And a goal conversion rate of 24%. Again, uh, whilst difficult, is still achievable. But let's jump into this first game against Crawley then. Hopefully we can come out with a result and a decent performance to boot. Of course, if you missed yesterday's video, then feel free to check back in the uh, in the channel page to uh, to find it. There will be a link as an annotation in the bottom left hand side of your picks. But as you can see, we do still sit currently second in the league with a game in hand on those around us. Wolves, you would have to say, are, uh, are going to win the league. They're uh, even if we win our game in hand, we're still 11 points behind them. So they are really our runaway uh, runaway winners at this current stage. Of course, we're only in the January transfer window, the beginning of January, so there's still a long way to go. And uh, getting that second automatic promotion spot definitely isn't uh, nailed down just yet because it's very, very tight at the uh, the top of the league uh, other than the uh, the current Wolves placing and the points difference. So uh, it's all to play for as we head into the second half of the season. Hopefully, as I uh, face plant the floors, the first action of this first game of the episode, we can actually get a decent result. But uh, Fallon's in behind here. We're going to be able to clear it. So hopefully, yeah, like I say, we can pick up a, a decent result here and a good performance as well. That was really weird. They just kind of gave up possession there. Oh, oh keeps us calm. I'm going to try and dink it. Is that going to go in? It's going to go wide, isn't it? Oh, my days. That was so close to an opening goal. I think we've picked up a corner here as the ground gets in the way. We have done. The defender got a touch on that before it went out. That was so close. We haven't scored a chipped effort yet. That would have been our first. The ball's dropped free here. Oh, I can't quite get there. Call for a lob through ball. He's played it over the top beautifully. I'm going to volley this before he can get to the ball. Oh, we've just smashed it past that far post. I was looking for the far corner, but I just pulled that a little bit too much. Maybe we've got to have a replay. That was a good angle as well. Just, ah, oh, the technique was good. Just a whisker wide of that far post. That is a real opportunity we should have taken there. A rather uneventful first half then, sees us go in at 0-0. A couple of opportunities for Sheffield United, that glorious opportunity for us, the main one where we uh, we just pulled the shot wide of the uh, the far post. That was a decent, decent chance. But positive signs for the second half. I'm confident that we can get three points out of this. Found us. Billy's making me a run, so I'm going to try and find him with the ball over the top. He's got there. Can we get in here, perhaps? We should pick up a corner there. Indeed, we have picked up a corner there. Sergio Torres, the man to uh, to knock it out. So let's put this on our head, shall we? On the penalty spot. No, it's not coming our way. It's going to. Uh, oh, I don't know who that was. Far chance for the follow-up. Another corner. I'm not too sure who had either of those shots there. To be completely honest, a lot less bodies in the box this time around. It's clearly going to come our way. That's too short. I'm not going to get there. Though we've done well. I'm going to call for it in here. Can you find me? Can. can we get a turn? We can. Can we get a shot? We can't. But it's dropped to Jose Baxter. Gives it a whack. And unfortunately, fly, flies past that near post. Oh, that was a really op real good opportunity. He had so much space there. Perhaps the uh, defender coming across to him put him off a little bit. But we really should be one up already in this game. Porter on for Billy Payne to them. Porter actually picked up two goals in our last game of the previous episode. So hopefully he can continue that goal-scoring uh, vein and... Uh, get us in front in this game because Billy really didn't have the best of games today bless him he tried ran around ran around a lot but uh, was get a tackling then or just stand next to him doesn't matter but uh, yeah Billy didn't quite have the cutting edge that uh, we're used to seeing from him in this game so hopefully Chris Porter can uh, can provide that little bit extra thought we were going to pick up a free kick there we'll look for uh, a ball out wide it's Brayford Porter takes it off him he's going to whip it in I'm going to go up for the header I can't quite get there We've got a man on the follow-up. 
That could drop. It could drop. Hit it. He has done. Oh, the technique on that volley was absolutely superb. Rifling it down into the ground and squeezing it inside that near post. I definitely want to see a replay of that goal. Particularly impressed with uh, the way that my guy took that effort. He was fortunate that uh, it dropped to us after a mistake from a couple of the defenders. Hop over the man on the floor. The technique that I didn't skip that. Oh, I hate it when it does that. The technique there to, uh, to get the, uh, the foot over the ball and keep it down. Could quite easily have just snatched at it and blazed it over. Really nice technique. Keeps the, uh, the effort down. And we take a 1-0 lead just 10 minutes from time. Into stoppage time at the end of the uh, the second half. There's a nice ball around the outside to Murphy. Uh, can he produce anything to get it into the box? He's got a man in support though. It's McGinn. Now we've got the chance for the cross. I can't quite get up to it. Porter's in though. Could drop. It hasn't dropped. I believe either I've given away a free kick or it's full time. It's full time. So uh, that late goal then in the 78th, 79th ish minute is going to be enough for us to win this one. We do take all three points at home against Crawley. That was a snatch and grab, to be completely honest. Uh, I skipped that there. Didn't see what time the goal went in. But still, 25% shooting accuracy. Not as good as they want from us. Or did they want 24%? I can't remember. But uh, still, a decent performance from us. Not the best. What time did that goal go in? That's, uh, it's going to bug me if I don't find out. Match highlights. It was the 79th minute. Okay, good. Right, advance. Let's push into the second game. This is an FA Cup game against Doncaster, who are a particularly good side. Of course, uh, they are in... Um, the championship, I believe they're in the championship. Of course, they got promoted last year. It was between them and Brentford, wasn't it, for uh, for getting that automatic promotion spot. It was a really dramatic last uh, last day of the season. But as you can see, we still sit second in the league. Preston keep winning as the Coventry City, so uh, we're still level on points. But again, still with that game in hand. But Wolves, Preston, Coventry, and Leighton Orient, and potentially MK Dons as well, all won uh, this weekend. So. Uh, Still so very, very tight there. We're so close to hitting our objective for goals for the season. As you can see, it's changed to green now. We've got 16 total of the 17 that they want for us. We're projected to get 27. We still need a couple or one more assist. One more assist, one more goal, and we've reached our targets for those two objectives, which is phenomenal to be able to do that in January. So uh, I'm not sure... Uh, cup games, no, clearly they don't look. Goals 16 and on the right, goals for our career 20. So uh, clearly goals in the cup and assists in the cup don't count for uh, for our overall objectives, which is weird. You'd have thought that they would, but still, regardless, we're going to jump into this game against Doncaster. Even though the uh, they don't count overall for uh, our actual objectives, it's still going to count for us in, uh, in a performance and grow. Oh, it's in the snow as well. Look at that snowy top left. So it's going to be difficult. This is actually going to be our first game in the snow, so we might get an accomplishment for this. Still looking to wait to, uh, to grow to a 75 rated overall player, of course. That would make us uh, gold in ultimate team terms. But we're still a 74 rated quote unquote silver player. So hopefully we can pick up a result here against Doncaster. Although it is going to be a particularly difficult game. Clear it now. Billy Paint is into us. It's good. And can we get a return ball from McGinn? We have done. Try and turn inside this guy if we can. I'm going to give it a whack early. See what comes of it. And it's just flashed wide of that far post. Perhaps our long shots aren't quite good enough yet to be taking on chances like that. Although it is snowy, it might just be the conditions that meant it was off target. But the keeper definitely was worried about it. So it shows it was a decent effort of, uh, in some respects. But not quite good enough to get us in front yet. Oh, it's just bouncing around here. The snow is being absolutely horrid for chance creation. Although Billy Payne... Ref! Oh... That was outside of the box, I think, but that was a definite foul. And I'm having to get on my defensive duties here, and I haven't been able to get anywhere near the ball, but I really think we should have had a free kick slash penalty there down the side of the box. Lovely step over by Billy, and regardless of whether it was a foul or not, he had the chance, or would have had the chance, to, to play us in, if we were able to get it to us on the penalty spot is, But we got a, a chance to break on them now. This is kind of a continuous clip. I'll call for the ball. He's played it to us. Cut back inside if we can. Now there's a man covering it, Stevens. Although the chance isn't gone yet. Call for it again. Cut inside. I'll stand it up. I won't because the defender will get back to me again. Oh, we've stolen it off the defender here. It's an absolute mistake from Kumalo. I'm going to try and stand it up for my man at the back post. He gets a flick in it. Oh, it's into the back of the net. Curve went up one there. Oh, you know what is really more disappointing than anything else for this is the fact that we've got the assist that they want from us in this batch of four fixtures and it's not in the league. They want one assist from the batch of four, if you remember from the uh, the opening segment of the series, of the episode rather, and we only needed one more assist to match 
our league objectives for the entire season, but it won't count towards either of those because it's in the league. I mean, it's in the cup and not in the league. What a header, though, to get the flick just the right angle on that. The deftest of headers into the back of the net. Billy Painter comes up trumps. 1-0 away against... To be completely honest, I hadn't even thought about this, but it's a South Yorkshire derby, this, in the FA Cup. Doncaster, Sheffield United. So this is actually a bigger game than first thought. Here's Furman, 40 yards out, into Quinn. Nice passing here, Billy Sharp into Theo Robinson. Gets the shot away, well blocked first time. Gets the second shot away, well blocked again. And we should be able to clear it and have, and that's going to take us into half time. So rather than 0-0 in the first game, we actually have ourselves a lead in this second game of the episode. And it's a decent lead as well, a well-earned lead. Doncaster are definitely proving to be more of a threat attacking-wise than uh, some of our opposition in League One this season. But we're still able to get ourselves in front thanks to that assist from us and a wonderful header from Billy Painter. So let's push into the second half and uh, hopefully we can continue to, uh, to keep ahead. Try and play a lofted through ball there. We've found our man. It's Davies. Chance to make it two. Great save from the goalkeeper. We've picked up some winter gloves for getting 35 physical accomplishments. Jeez, we've got three or four, five or six accomplishments now. Beat 50 players off dribble. Didn't realise we'd actually dribbled round anyone there just by playing that through ball. We'll take it. Perhaps winter gloves would actually come in handy if we'd have got that already for this game. Because you can imagine playing without gloves on a snowy day like this is actually going to be quite chilly. I'm going to call for the through ball. I'm going to whack this first time towards the far bottom corner. It's well blocked by the defender. I'm not too sure why my guy took that on his left. But they're going to get the chance to break on us now. Furman has a lovely ball over the top looking for Billy Sharp. Brings it down well. He's hauled down. Theo Robinson breaking free. But ref we've got away with one there. They got advantage and there wasn't really too much of an advantage. The ref let play go on and they didn't pull it back for the foul. We have really gotten away with one there. Billy Sharp absolutely hauled to the ground. They should have had a free kick there, and we should have had a, at least a booking for that defender. Ooh, that could, be, that could prove costly for Doncaster. The referee might have absolutely screwed them out of this FA Cup tie. We've done enough. We've done enough. It wasn't the most exciting of second halves. It wasn't the most exciting of games, to be completely honest. You'd have to say that the, uh, the conditions were uh, the main, main factor in that regard. But, nonetheless, we've come out with a win. We're through to the next round of the FA Cup. With a, a, a good win away from home against a side that are a division above us. So we'll have to wait and see what the draw throws up in the FA Cup. Perhaps we could get the chance to prove ourselves at a... Uh, we've unlocked black winter gloves now after unlocking winter gloves earlier on in, in the episode. But uh, we might be able to get the chance to prove ourselves against a Premier League side if the FA Cup draw throws up something favourable to uh, to us and a home draw would be uh, would be nice against the Premier League side but uh, anyway that's going to bring this episode to a close guys thank you very much for watching please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind that would be absolutely superb if you did enjoy of course if you enjoyed and you aren't subscribed then feel free to hit that subscribe button so uh, you don't miss out on any of the content coming to you here on Chesno Gaming we've got AC Milan career mode coming to you tomorrow and that runs every single weekday at 1pm and then we've got my player this series comes to you 12 o'clock like it did today 12 o'clock as it did yesterday and uh, at 9 p.m. on a Tuesday and Thursday as well and of course feel free to follow me on Twitter at Chesnoy Gaming to stay up to date with everything else that goes on with the channel and with me as a whole but that's all for today so thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time